All right. So recap on a couple of things about Eddie, right? So those of you that have trouble fighting him, not that there's many Eddie players out there anymore. Uh, recap the rules to punishing rela uh, relaxed stance. The big one is back 3-3, right? And uh, I've said this both in part one and part two. If you look at the second bot, you'll notice that that's negative 14 on block. You see that on the top left? What that means, but in regards to his relaxed transitions, is if you hit him with a 14 frame or faster move when you block that, it will float him and you will be able to juggle him. Now you can punish that with a slower move. It won't count as a quote unquote punish uh, according to the game, but he will. Be, it will be a guaranteed hit. But if it's slower than 14 frames, for example, this 15 frame move, right? It won't float him. It will just hit him once and knock him away, right? And then once again, my best just to show it off, right? So I am just gonna stay down, right? So if I do 15 frame moves, see, he won't get floated. But if I do 14 or faster, that's a 13 frame move, he gets floated and I could juggle him. Now that's just like a match of specific thing to consider, you know? Do you have a 13, 14 frame move that will float him, or 12 in the case of Nina for down 4-1, that will float him in that situation? That's just one example. And of course there's more, but you know. And the only way you'll hit him, like, um, if you're fighting an Eddie player that's mashing, right? Like, uh, that's when you'll hit him as if he were standing. Hit reaction wise, not hurt box wise, you see? It's because he's mashing that he gets launched like that. If he wasn't mashing, that would still hit him as a punish. Like, but he gets hit away. That's a that's a key thing you gotta know about fighting Eddie. So now you know. If as long as you know, if you're trying to look up how to punish an Eddie move that goes to relax. Look at the frame data. If it's like negative five, I think that's when you pretty much can hit him with a quick low, guaranteed. But if it's something like, you know, like negative 13, negative 14 or worse, I think it's one that's like negative 16. Now you know, this is how you gotta punish it. Right? If you have the option. Uh, okay. So anyway, now that that's out of the way. Also, I watched the Spaghetti Rip. Good dude, good dude that Spaghetti Rip. But anyway, I watched his Eddie run through. He said that this is counter hit confirmable. I don't buy that. Not one bit. The problem with uh, with that is you put any sort of delay on that shit, it's not gonna combo, right? On uh, counter hit or anything. You put any sort of like... Hmm. Wait. I did this last time. Because first of all, there's no hit reaction, right? And it seems like if I put any sort of delay outside of just the tiniest bit, he's blocking it. So I feel like maybe they're mistakening that certain instances for counter hit confirms that aren't really counter hit confirms. Or maybe just like you're, you know, you're on some fucking beta blockers and you catch it. I don't know. What's up, Naranagi? Thank you for filling up this shitty time, so I don't know what's going, on, what's going on. Yeah, you know, it might... It's not consistently. I'll call it that way. That's how I'm going to call it. I don't, you know, I don't believe that Eddie players are counter-hit confirming that shit. I think that when they delay it, they might be trying to, but then it, it just has the double, like, impact of also being that delay is going to trick people into swinging and then they get fucking nailed by it. Um... What was it from last time? The best ways to... Oh, yeah. The, the other thing about the relax mix-up is you already know, like, the uh, safer... There's a safer and a riskier mix-up. The one, the 1-3 is one of his better, like, safer low options that relax, while the high-risk low option is obviously the slip kick, the slippery kicks, right? That's 4 tilted 3. Also, you could just tap 3 for a fast low poke, right? But the relax 1-3 is 17-frame startup, while the relax 3 is... 16 frame starter and then like four is the safer i mean that's pretty safe it's like it's unsafe on block but it's not like i'm gonna kill you for fucking this up you know it's like negative 12 i think or 13 but it's homing and you can't jump over him anymore because it's gonna corkscrew you so that's the safer and then the high risk is either three tilde four piano or four tilde three for three tilde four for mid launcher four tilde three so the thing about this is about in almost all of his transitions, even the ones that are plus, he spaces himself out too much to really force that mix upon you. 
you could pretty much, unless you have a shitty backdash, I'm, I'm presuming like Gigas might have trouble doing this, but most of the cats could just backdash and then they're safe from the mix-up. Like at worst, they'll eat the first hit of that, but they won't get tripped by the second hit. That's what seems to be happening most often. The, the only ways from what I recall last time is while running three, right? I think if, he, and I think that's only if he hits it like from distance. He's like closer to you. Yeah, see, he's a little bit closer. And uh, what was it? Uh, handstand forward three? Uh, what was it? Or handstand back three? Yeah. Handstand back three was, I think, another one. Um, Eddie himself actually has no trouble backdashing because his weird ass stance makes him spaced funny. His default cap, you know, the, the, the dance, the capital stance. And uh, there was one other way, and I can't remember how. I can't remember it at the moment, but I definitely covered it in part two. So there's only like two or three move uh, uh, situations where he's going to be able to actually force this mix-up on you. More often than not, the, like even this shit, if he gets a counter hit on you, and he's plus whatever the fuck it is, plus 14, I don't even know if that's right. You see, look at how far away you are. I got to open up uh, RB Norway tab. Hold on a second. Oh, shit. The game is going crazy on me. Ah, the game minimized. Uh, that's why I hate running the game in full screen mode. It does fucking crazy shit like this. I don't know if my screen froze. Hold on a second. Google. Can you guys still hear me? Because my OBS shows it as frozen. I'm just opening up a tab here for Eddie. See, handstand, handstand, where you at? All right, cool, you're good, 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 you can still hear me. All right, so I'm looking on RB Norway for where I left off. All right, here's the handstand. Let me also switch my music. Let me go to the, to the homie Mitsuda. All right. Oh, I fucked up. Bye. Okay. Still a black screen for me. All right. So. That's that. Uh, what's the deal? Is counter and gets relaxed? I don't know. You have to look it up. I just told you. There's And it's not general relaxed. It's, it's relaxed in a situation where he's still in recovery. Like, this is negative 14 on block. So, if Leo's down forward one were able to hit him and relax, it would float him. And Leo would probably get a juggle. But it might whiff. You need a 14 frame or faster button that will hit relaxed. That's the key. This has a very low hitbox. It's mid, but it hits low to the ground. That's why it'll flow him out of relaxed. And it's 13 frame start. All right, so next we got the... I went through the sidestep moves last time. Oh, yeah. What was it? Um, This shit? Yeah, this shit. This shit I found out about last time, right? Boom, right? If you were to hold back, there it is. Forward plus three plus four. If the second it hits you by itself, it's a jungle starter or normal hit. And the way you get that is, is the space because if you're close, if you're close, that's not the move. If you're close, it's going to hit you with both hits, but it also hits grounded. So sidestep one plus four, which is this shit. If you mash forward plus three plus four and they hold back, depending on the, the axis, the axis makes it a little funny. See? You'll get it. And if they stay down, it still hits them. You cannot hold back in that situation. So you could actually mix that up with up three if they stay down. If they stay down to, like, avoid uh, getting lost. Because basically what I'm saying is four plus three plus four is pretty much guaranteed after this knocks you down. There's no way to block that. If you try to stand straight up, he hits you, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let me double check that. <laughs> Hit me back turn. Stand up block. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay, let me make sure I aim. Because I'm pretty sure I tested this last time and I and I got it. Oop. You have to, like, not delay it at all. Oh, you also wish weird like that, but that's because of the matchup. Okay, you could. 
Did I didn't I test this last time and I was unable to block it? Hmm. Go figure. Well, here's what happens if you hold back. Boom! He hits it. And depending on his angle, he'll get that second hit only. So don't hold back. Tap up and hold back to block. I could have sworn I did this. I'm starting to wonder this is that weird ass Eddie shit. Remind me to test this when I switch to Lily. <laughs> I don't know for sure. This might be one of those weird Eddie specific things because of the fucked up axis on him. Even then, still a good knockdown low. And if you get that, people get fucked up. Uh, and. Uh, what was it? Um, nope, not that. Nope, not that. Side step. No, not that. Nope, not that. Side step four, is it? Yeah. Size step four is cheap as fuck. Anyway, safe on block low, plus one in certain distances. So that shit is super cheap. Uh, so yeah, I went through the side step moves last time for sure. Right, so this is handstand, and this is side side. So I went through Ginga, side step moves. So now we're gonna talk about handstand. And then negativa is relaxed. The thing about handstand, you go into it by default with forward one plus two, of course. And if you hold, if you just leave him there for a while, he'll eventually go down and it's a relaxed. I don't know if there's a way to hold, and if you tap forward, that he rolls forward, and that's what happens. If you just tap forward, he goes into he goes to relax quicker. But if you hold forward, he goes to that, and he stands up. I don't know if he recovers crouching. No, is that a wall standing three? No. Oh, huh. he does recover while standing. Uh -huh. I'm trying to do it. There's a timing there where you can do a while standing move out of that. There it is. You can definitely do a while standing move if you time it in the process of him getting up from the floor. So that, you know, that could be useful. Depending on how you use it. Just know that you're completely banking on the opponent being fucking terrified to swing. So that's your job as Eddie to use your crazy high risk shit. He's super high risk. As long as the opponent knows how to punish you. He's super, super, super high risk. Music's dead? No, it's still playing. I just have it low, I guess. I'm afraid of it overpowering me. There you go. I hired it. You know what? Let me hire it this way. There you go. All right. Let me know if it overpowers me, please. Um, so, you you know, Eddie is high risk. Like I guess as long as your opponent knows that there's going to be a lot of situations where if you're fighting against Eddie, you need to know, oh, shit, there's going to be a lot of situations that I need to be ready for where I'm going to float his ass. Right, even if even if it's by accident, it just happens naturally when you're fighting Eddie. Because sometimes you're gonna catch him when he's transitioning into handstand and shit, right? So you need to be always be on the lookout for oh I floated him and convert if you can. Even if it's not a full juggle, convert with a free follow-up of some sort. You're gonna have something that you can hit him with. So be sure. Um Yeah. Oh fuck, I minimized the game again. Oh, I hate full screen mode. All right, fuck it. Fuck the frame rate. I'm going to switch to uh, windowed. So this stops happening. Let me switch it. Still black? There you go. have frame rate troubles on PC version and they've only gotten worse since day one with every patch uh, it doesn't run worse and worse but it feels worse than it used to when day one day one I used to be able to run this fine it would get to 59 at best
30 FPS, you don't want to play Tekken at 30 FPS. You're going to get sick. When Tekken, Bot, when Tekken Bot first came out and they didn't have the option to make it transparent or whatever, it was running at 30 FPS for me. I was trying to play during it. Dude, I felt sick within like seven seconds of just backdash canceling. I felt fucking sick. I instantly felt nauseous. I had to like stop. It was fucked. All right, so now I can actually move my mouse around. All right. So anyway, so now that we got that out of the way. Um, ooh, look at this. If you input forward one plus two, you can just keep going into it. Or, huh. Oh. All right, so another cool thing is if you're holding forward, after handstand to transition into into um, relax, if you mash four three, you get the wake up kicks. And that's a juggle starter on counter hit. What do you know? And wake up wake up low is plus five. And wake up mid of course knock down. Oh sorry, that's it. while you're transitioning, right when he touches the floor, before he goes to relax. You get the wake up kicks. Keep in mind though that there is no text. You, you can't tech off the floor during that. <laughs> what a weird ass move. That's just to be evasive, I guess, to fuck with people. But like if you're gonna do that, then you just suit the handstand down. The handstand duck where he's trying to suck his own dick. That shit avoids everything. Alright, so handstand one is the first move on the list, and that's his infamous armor move. Really good move. Used to be his bound move, right? Repurposed to be his armor move, because there's no more bound. And uh, it's only negative 11 on block, but it does force crotch, which is most people are going to hit you with their while standing four, or while standing one if it's gigas. Uh, knocks down a normal hit. Uh, does he get anything for free? Not that. Um... Uh, I think he gets something for free. Maybe down four. Yeah. So at least it's down four, if not any if not something better. I don't know what else to even try to be honest with you guys. Uh I mean, that's less damage. Uh, yeah, so, down four. You could download the potato mod. Oh, I already know there was something like that. All right, uh, so yeah, negative 11 on block forces crouch, so you gotta punch him while standing. And, you know, like all armor moves, it starts up at eight frames. Uh, the armor starts up at eight frames, not the attack. <laughs> the attack comes out at, uh, I don't know, you know. Oh, that's 10? Is that really 10 or is that 10 damage? Uh, 23 frames startup for the attack. Eight frames for armor, like always. So uh, I talked about this a lot during his earlier move, uh, the part one and part two. A lot of his uh, transitions into handstand, they make it so if you try to jab him, even most some of them on block, maybe most of them on block, uh, the armor move will beat you out if you try to jab him or anything slower. Or in some cases, I think it's uh, what it is. Is actually, I'm sorry. If you jab him, you'll beat out the armor. But if you go for like a 13 frame mid or slower, that's when the armor will start to beat you out. Which means he could crush the jab by doing this. So it becomes like a triangle mix of the sorts. It's like if you jab, if you jab, I'm gonna do that and launch you. High risk, of course. If you do anything else, that. But then you could do the low to sweep that, and then the low loses to the fast mid. That's a 12 frame mid. Handstand four. That's the three way mix up. In most instances, uh, as far as move my move bases, you gotta look through my my other run throughs to catch those because I don't remember them off the top of my head right now. All right, so next we got handstand two, 18 frame high crush. It says it looks like it auto side steps to his left. It definitely auto side steps to his left. So that's good. That's a pretty good move. Does he have any follow ups? Uh, he do. Two four. Is that natural? Not a natural or normal hit. On counter hit. Oh, he's doing the sidestep four. Does that mean he could do... Uh, yeah. 
So he's basically, if you if you do handstand 2-4, he's basically doing side step forward, which you can do all the side step four follow-ups. Side step two by itself. Plus five on hit. Plus nine on counter hit. Nice. And of course on counter hit the low combos. At least the first hit, because uh Side step four, much like the regular side step four, it's not a natural combo on normal or on counter hit. But if you block the second low, he's plus, he's like zero or plus one, at worst negative one. See, plus one right there, plus two, plus, I don't even know if this even gets a negative one. I think it's typically zero now that I think about it. Maybe there's some instances where you can make it negative one. Either way it goes, that shit's cheap. It's only bad, there it is. Minus one in that situation. It's more uh, random here because of Eddie, Eddie dancing around the opponent, Eddie, opposing Eddie. All right. Um, so okay, and it's only negative one on block. Oh, I didn't follow up. Negative two. Negative two. Negative two. All right, so it's negative two according to the bot. RB no way says negative one. I'm gonna go with the bot on this one. Usually when there's a difference, RB Norway is the one that's wrong. Let's see. Uh, he has a 13 frame. Okay, I know how to test this. <sighs> oh, fuck. He recovers crouching. Shit. Um, exchange with... Do I have an 11 frame move? I got a 15 frame move. I can test that. No. He needs to do... Okay, he needs to do 13. Okay, correct. Negative two. His 13 frame move is exchanging with my 15 frame move. So he is negative two. This is digging into my legs. Damn stick. So that's a, you know, even as a poke, that's, oops. Even as a poke, that's pretty good. Thanks for the follow, Vaspec, Vaspec 81. Thanks for the follow. So even just as a poke, handstand too, it's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely one that you see if you see good Eddie players. It's definitely one that's used. Thanks for the follow, Silver Star Fox. Uh, all right, next is Hot Play Special. Now, you see, you see what's going on here. I'm not even looking at my screen. I see the other corner of my eye. This is because, once again, it's Eddie versus Eddie. Because Eddie's constantly moving left and right. This is not going to happen very often in your average match unless the opponent manually sidesteps. Or maybe even delay if they add it to the game later. Either right, way goes. This is basically Hot Play Special. As always, plus uh, whatever on hit, plus six. And I think it's negative five on block, hot play special. Yeah, negative five on block. I actually remembered something for once. Go figure. Hot play special, uh, which means hot play special has the fake out, right? Uh, what was it? Doesn't he have a fake out here? No, oh. oh. What's, this, what's this fake out? There it is. Yeah, so if you hold down before the move comes out, the animation startup might make people afraid to swing, and then you go into relax, and this is just one of those ways you could sneak up right in their face with relax and force the launcher mix up. Uh, side step four, back two four. It's another noob killer. Oh, definitely. Side step four to any button is a noob killer. Are you kidding me? Side step four. So yeah, hot play special. If you block hot play special, the opponent blocks it, they can hit you with a quick low, like 15 frames. Uh, as far as slower, I'm not sure. But 15 frames for my testing. Let's go through that again just in case. Oops, it's not what I meant to do at all. Alright. Yeah, see? Oh, this is a faster way to get up that I don't know about. A block low. It seems like just quick lows are guaranteed on them. So, that's just how that is. Um, it's a possibility that I'm wrong here, but I don't know. Because Eddie could be has something weird and relaxed to make him wake up standing and block low faster. I don't know what it is, if he does have it. Um, Alright, so that's Hot Play Special Handstand 3. 17 frame startup, is that right? No, that's 17 damage. It's way slower than that. It's 32 frame startup. Very slow. And on counter hit, 
It does uh, knockback. So if you're at the wall and you counter hit him, he wall splat. Alright, so Austin from Past Sandy, of course, he could do the low, and in that instance, it's actually in my, pretty much unseeable. Right? I think so. Let's see. 3 till the 4 is 25 frames, so it's like sort of unseeable. If you do it from standing, it comes out at 29 frames. From handstand, it comes out at 25, according to RB Norway. The tech of is 27. Maybe it is seeable, I don't know. It looks it looks really fast. It looks fast. I'm not the best judge of what's seeable and what isn't seeable. The general rule of thumb that I've always like heard and taken to heart is when you start getting up to like 24, 25 frames, that's when you're like talking about edge case. Like if you're sharp, you're gonna see this. Any slower than that, you're getting into like snake edge territory pretty much, right? So I don't know, maybe. I wouldn't use this as a mix up, I'll put it that way. I'll use it as every once in a blue moon, he's scared or my or he or she, whoever my opponent is, is scared to swing. So I'm just gonna go for this crazy ass low and then launch him. And you go for your juggle. That's how I'm, I would suggest using that. By the way, he goes, if you block it, negative 24, and he's, like, recovering really low to the floor, as always. So, once again, depending on your character, you might need to adjust your wild standing punishment just a little bit. Because if you look at the block stagger, see how he falls to the floor like that? Uh, a lot of uh, mids tend to go over him. So, the thing is, in the case of Eddie, all of his mids pretty much catch him, right? Maybe wild standing 4. Yeah, wild standing 4. There you go. That's an example of a mid that does it. Uh, Dragon Ball's mid before they buffed it in the re in that uh, not recent patch, but in that last patch with the changes that nerfed Kazumi and shit, they buffed Dragon Ball's while standing to hitbox. It actually hits this now. Before Dragon Ball had to like delay it a little bit and hit him, kind of like how I would have to do to hit him with this while standing four. See, still a punish, but I had to delay it to hit him while he's in the process of standing because his hitbox is so low to the floor. So the now the reason I'm bringing that up. It's because depending on if you're not Eddie and you're fighting against them, you're going to want to test how you block punish that because you might have trouble block punishing it. You need to know that shit. Your best bet might be to crouch cancel and launch his ass. Which you could do, especially if you have a 15 frame launcher, right? If you have a 15 frame launcher, you could totally crouch cancel, tap up, and then instantly crouch cancel to a 15 frame launcher like I just did right there, right? You could totally do that shit. Oh, oh. Do it again for you guys. See? Tap up and then instantly, it, it was like a down forward two, up, down forward two right away. That's how you would do it. And it would make it come out at like 17, 18 frames at best, something like that. I think it adds like two frames if you perfectly input that. All right. So yeah, that's that move. Next, we got handstand four, which is the mid I talked about. This is pretty much the fastest move in handstand. 12 frames, mid-high. I don't think it jails, does it? Yeah, all right. It might. What does jail mean? In case you don't know, it means that if this move were to jail, it means that once I block that mid, I will not be able to duck that high. It keeps you in, bla in place like a block stun that you can't recover from. And it does jail, it looks like. Yeah, that jails. So you can't, even though it's mid-high, that just means if you spaced out, you could duck the second hit. So, this is like punishable with an asterisk, I think. Because on block, it's what is it, negative 5? Negative 10. Okay, no, no, this is this is punishable. This is 100% punishable. I'm sorry. You see. No, negative 7 according to RB Norway. Negative 8? Huh. Is it because of Eddie that this is happening? The bot sometimes says negative 10, other times it says. Okay, it's not a punish, so the bot is wrong. Yeah, the bot is wrong. So this is negative seven. So punishing this is weird. I'll show you why. Um, so first of all, don't jab. That's why. Does crouch jab work? Okay, crouch jab seems to work. If you could convert a crouch jab, that might be your best bet. Oh, but he could armor through your crouch jab if he's negative seven, right? That's the 12 frame counter hit string I just did by accident. I think you can armor through your crouch shot. No. Oh. Okay. But he's probably like negative nine. So 
So you, you cannot armor through your crouch jab. So you can convert off of a crouch jab. Uh... Oh, Eddie sure can. So if you have a character that can convert off of a crouch jab float like that, that's probably your best bet. But some crouch jabs, I feel like he might still go under them. I don't know. But he has other options. Let's see. I don't know what I'm trying to do. How you do the, uh... Oh, you have to tap. Neutral, right? Okay. Right. That might work. Oh! Looks like cross jab is it. Looks like cross jab might be it. Uh... Yeah. I can't think of anything else. Uncle Raiden is actually eight. Isn't it eight frames? I thought it was eight frames. I'm pretty sure I tested this. It's eight frames. The thing is, I don't know how much that move is on block because Tekken Bot is telling me one thing and RB No Way is telling me something completely different and they both seem wrong. Uh, how about this? 12, yeah, 19. Anybody off the top of your head know a 19 frame move of Eddie? Is there a uh, 19 frame move? 17, that's 15, 13 of course. That's way slower. Eighteen. Uh. Not back two is eighteen. Yeah, I, I need a nineteen frame move to test this. And also, it can't be a low because it's gonna beat our armor. Whatever. Actually, no, it's not against the armor. So we know that that's twelve frames. So he's beating out forward three, which is an 18 frame move. No, it's not. Okay, I was slow. Yeah. So an 18 frame move is beating beating out his 12 frame move. Um, so I need I need if negative seven were right, I would need a 19 frame move to exchange. How about a 20 frame move? Anybody know a 20 frame move? Because the thing is, armor follows the same rules as uh, on the on actual armor moves as they do on slippers, on rage, not slippers, rage arts. I, sh I should call them what they are, rage arts, because there are actual slippers in the game, and some of those are actually invincible. Uh, rage arts start up armor start up at eight frames, just like regular armor. So that's why, for example, Josie, the, uh, you block Josie's down forward four. You cannot armor or rage art through her switch stance, uh, the high, the, fa the, the fast high. Cause she's like at plus 11 and the high is like 15 frames or some shit. All right, well, either way it goes in it, we already know now in this specific situation, Crowd Shab is gonna beat out pretty much everything he could do in handstand. I can't think of, unless that evades, which I don't think it will, I'd be surprised. Oh, it's forward, what is it? Aris is live. Oh my god, I can't match it out because of that. It's gonna be hard to time this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, four to the three. That's nice. Oh, good to know. Thank you. Ooh, check out the camera work on this one. It's gonna be hard to execute out of blocks then. <laughs> really hard to execute that out of blocks then. Yeah, I feel like it's... If it had like a regular ass input. How about 20 frames? You got 20? Anybody, if you know a 20 frame move. Four. Oh, 
Wow, Tekken doesn't know what back four is. Wow, weird. Yeah, a lot of active frames. Too much about it. Either way, know uh, either way it goes. We know crouch jab is pretty good here. So another thing I want to test. This is what recording is this? That's that shit. Nah, that's not good. Um, we want armor. Where's armor? Uh, well, actually, eh. yeah, let's do that. Seems like you're good with a quick low. I think the uh, 12 frame lows get fucked over here. But as long as you have a quick low, you'll definitely hit it. You might not be able to convert it depending on your character. But you'll at, at the very least, it will stop him from doing bullshit after that, right? You're gonna hit him out of it. You don't, There's no guessing game involved. Just hit him out of that shit. Boom. And be done with it. Because a low is gonna hit everything. As long as this does have shit range. If it has shit range, I think that's when that shit whiffs. When he does that sidestep. Right. See? See, be, of course, it's a low. So it's beating out the armor. No surprise there, right? And of course, it's gonna beat this out too. Oh, camera. You know? Of course, it's gonna beat that out too. So, yeah, those are your two best bets. Test whatever your main is, crouch jab if you got a crouch jab uh, follow up or just a quick low. That's how you deal with that shit. That's basically like a, a way to punish that move. You can get better reward, but when you get when you go for the better reward, you need to understand that you're doing it at the at the risk of giving him some sort of like option to like you know hurt you really bad. <laughs> That's what you need to understand, right? Because that fucking that duck is it this one? Oh, it's this one. That duck goes under a lot of shit. Ugh, camera. That duck goes under a lot of shit. That's a low. A lot of shit. And Eddie himself has good hitboxes, though, so... See, like, of course, that's gonna work. But, like... See, the moment I go to a 15 frame, that's what happens. Then you have to deal with the armor. So you're giving you're giving him options, basically, is what I'm saying. If you don't just, like, hit him out of it, you know? If you try to get greedy, which you punish. All right. Enough of that. So now we know how to punish that movement. That's a big one, because Eddie noobs like to mash that shit out. I'm sure you're familiar with that. All right. So now, but the thing is... All right. This I didn't know about. I think you'll still flow him. I can't imagine you not being able to flow him out of that shit. Or this I forgot about. Maybe I didn't know about it, but just forgot about it. Ah, oh, camera. Man, I, Eddie Mirror must be a nightmare with all this crazy shit that just happens. Yeah, see? Fast little still interrupts and floats. Crouch stab, at least for Eddie, still floats. Yeah, and look at that shit. <laughs> Fucking camera. All right. All right. And of course, unbreakable high throw. You can uh, sort of react to it. It's 27. Oops. Yeah, you can react to that. If you're sharp and you know, you know, you get used to it as you play this matchup. You look for him turning around that way, and he makes that same sound effect. That chew. Right? Oh, wow. From this, it doesn't even work. Or maybe that's because he's hitting him in the side. Yeah, it's because he hit him in the side. Uh, I guess it doesn't work. Get him in the side. Yeah, that's what happens. Not even... It gives you the hit spark, but you don't even do any damage. Um, 
you get used to it, and then you gotta duck it, and you float his ass, and then you jump. That's how you punish that shit. As you look for it, you wait for the whiff. Just don't come up too early or you'll get caught like I did that first time. See? That's what happens if you come too early and you'll, get, you'll just get hit out of your, uh, grabbed out of your attack. It's not like virtual fighter. Attacks don't be grabs, unfortunately. Um, next. Actually, attacks do be grabs if they collide on the same frame. And it becomes a counter hit. That's unique to this game, isn't it? That wasn't a thing before. Uh, all right. So next, three plus four. That's the throw. Okay. Forward one. Ah, this is another popular way to get out of that. So forward one is twenty-one frame start up plus one on block. So it's basically at plus eight on it. So it's basically like his stand jab. He could go from handstand to stand jab, minus the speed, of course. And basically continue offense, right? By maintaining plus one. So that's pretty much what that's about. Plus one on block, plus eight on it. I mean, it doesn't have, it's not 10 frames, obviously. It's 20 frames according to the bot. And according to RB Norway, 21 frames, whichever one it is. Uh, nothing on counter hit. That's all there is to that. Next, this is the one that. It looks like it's still low crush, but it doesn't. But if you get hit out of it, he will be floated. This is just one of those that people do to like catch people running away, I think. And I think this has variable frame data, right? Doesn't it? Uh, what does it say here? Yeah, this has very variable frame data. This is one of those if you get them to block the tip, I think while he's coming down, it becomes safe. As you can see, it was negative 12 before. Now it's negative 8, negative 4, negative 9. But if you're right in there, if you're right in their face, negative uh, 12. So this is one of those, like, uh, yeah, if people, like, try to run away and press the thing from far away, I guess, you kind of chase them down. But it is negative. No matter what, it is negative. So keep that in mind. If you're not up close, just don't count on punishing it. It's kind of like a safer spring kick, now I think about it. Uh, knocks down on normal and counter hit. Yep, same knockdown. I think I think there's a uh, certain jungles he uses that in too, right? It floats kind of weird. I don't know what though. All right, so next we got the duck, which I showed before. The duck is a three plus four. That's solely designed to punish people that swing at you with like jabs, basically, and hand stab. That's the only reason this exists. You could just sat down, of course, and then you know. Oh, and you can. Uh, um, as long, as long as you hold down for a bit, if you just tap down and let the stick go to neutral really fast, he does that sidestep, that tilt sidestep. You want to hold down for a bit. He does like, you can't just like keep holding down. It doesn't matter how long you hold down, he does the same animation. So just hold down to make sure you get it. And then you, uh, oops, that's off for the sidestep. And then smash P plus four after you do it if you want to get that launch. Super, super, super duper evasive. And the way you punish that shit is... Wow, negative nine? That's not right. That ain't negative nine. I don't believe it. Yeah. What? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it is negative nine. Holy shit. All right. Good thing, good thing I tested that because I saw negative 16 on the bot and the bot was trying to steer me in the wrong direction. Oop. Oh boy, okay. Alright. 
So if you got a 14 frame mid, that will hit him. 14 or 13 frame mid, that will hit him if he does the duck. I don't know if you have access to that. I don't know who would have access to that. I know Eddie would. <laughs> you will float him. Let's just say this is... Let's just treat this similar to how you would treat punishing this. Except don't go slower than 14 frames. Yeah, Bob has back two. Bob will punish that with back two. Let's call it, let's call it, let's treat it the same way as you would treat this. Alright? Minus the, you know, minus the hitting him with a slower move. Uh, unless it's a low. Then you can hit him with a slightly slower move. Nah, you can hit him with a pretty slow low. I mean, he's still negative nine, so... You can hit him with a pretty slow low and he will be unable to do anything. Drag only gets like full crotch four. Yeah, down back four. I don't know. I mean, you know. Drag could down to him for doing this. Drag could definitely down to him. He won't float him. I mean, don't feel bad. He is dragging off. He's not hurting, you know? It's like, boo-hoo, dragging off can't float Eddie. I mean, how much more do you want, right? Dragging off, dragging off is okay. You know, you know? And they buffed him in this matchup, like I mentioned earlier. You can, while standing to the uh, slippery kicks. That shit. Which is not that big of a deal, but whatever. It's more a bigger deal for, for fucking relaxed, relaxed low. That's when it's a big deal. Because it definitely would have whiffed on that shit, too. Let's be real. Alright, so I just learned something. Interesting. You could probably gimmick uh, bad players out with that, right? If they were to mad, I mean, nah, maybe not. If they're mashing like crazy, they'll catch you with a low. They won't make, they won't make it hurt much, though. But yeah, if you want to, like, fuck with bad players, just do, just do a uh, duck boot. Oh, no. Can't even execute. Duck boop, duck boop, duck boop. <laughs> if they swing with anything that doesn't hit them out of that shit, they're gonna get so mad. I would. All right. Next on the list is uh, back three, and this is basically the low poke option. So you got the high risk, low launching option, and you have the low poke option, and that's plus seven, and you're pretty close. And now in this instance, if Eddie were to hold back. He'd probably get away from the low or backdash, but most of the cast will not. Eddie's just a weird case. Uh, and that low poke is negative 14 on block, plus 7 on regular and counter hit. Huh. Huh. Why? Whiff. <laughs> Eddie freaking does the dance even when he's crouching. Yep, negative 14 on block. Is it a float? I think it's a float. I think this is a float if you block this. Because he goes into relaxed. It might not be. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have a... Okay. It's a float. It's a float. And he's a little weird with it. And he can't convert. Now, Dragonov will juggle this. While standing four, back one, two. He'll float. He'll float juggle. So there you go, Uncle Raiden. Uncle Raiden. Uh, Alright, so. Same rule as this, except you're crouching. So if you got a while standing 14 or faster, like Bob will be able to, like, his, uh... Bob's 14 frame while standing launcher, if it hits airborne opponents or floating opponents, it'll he's still able to convert, if I'm not mistaken. So he'll still be able to get a full juggle. Well, not full, but like a float juggle. Uh, I don't know. Does, uh, Brian's while standing three, that's 11, right? So Brian will be able to juggle that. Most of the cast will be able to convert that into a juggle, for sure. Next... Okay, and that's when we talked about the weird sidestep shit, which is like the situational. It is pretty evasive, but if you try to do it at heavy negative frames, you're not really going to get away from anything. That's just tap up or down and go into neutral. Now, if you hit four during that animation, he does this crazy ass low that's like super negative on block, but it does knock down a normal hit. Does he get anything for free off of it, though? Wow, he recovers quite slow. Yeah, he recovers super slow. Yeah, it's a knockdown low, but you're actually quite, you're spaced out quite well. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how well you're spaced out after the connect. So if people were to get up swinging and you just kind of stand still, 
just keep your down forward plus your plus four locked and loaded. Or just back to four if you want to be playing a little more safer and have more range. Just uh, keep that shit locked and loaded with punish that ass if they get up mashing, which a lot of people like to do when they don't know what's going on. Uh, that low, though, is negative 45 on block. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> so you can input this as three or four during that animation. So either three or four gives you the same shit. <laughs> yep, same shit. All right, so let's see. What else is there out of that? Um, down four. Uh... This is weird. What is this move? Let me see. Scrolling down. Handstand, right? Straight block. Um. Ah. Is that what it's talking about? Up or down plus three, down or up. Oh man, the way they word this out here is really confusing the shit out of me. That's as bad as Dragon Tail on block. Maybe even worse. Wipe the floor is also that bad. And Bake used to have a low similar to wipe the floor. Just as bad. Maybe this is what it was. That's not a drop kick. Damn it. Second, you can't be naming moves like that drop kick. Fuck. What what part of that is a kick? It's a fucking sweep. That's what this move should be called. Tilt tw tw twist sweep. That it describes the move perfectly. That's not a sweep. That's a drop kick if you want to like, you know, drop kick, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. <coughs> Whatever. Move names aside. So, up three or up four gives you this, which puts them right back into it, right? Negative seven, it says here. Um, which is weird, because RB Norway says negative two. Counter hit, though. You get a knockdown. Do you get anything uh, off of that knockdown? I don't know. You gotta get something off of that, right? Oh, just whiffed. Ah, shit, scratch. I don't know if you get anything guaranteed. Negative 11. I was hoping if they were to hold back, that would space itself out well, but I guess not. This is like, yeah, they guaranteed. Maybe you transition to relax. Yeah, I guess so, but I wanted to see what he would get if he were just to stay enhanced at. Because it is pretty negative. I don't know if it's negative. Seven on here. I'm gonna. I think it's negative two. Uh, 14 frames. I know how to test this. Now he'd have to hit me. But... Negative two. His 12 frame move exchanged with my 14 frame move. So that is negative two on hits. And then we got holding down coin of this. Wow, this is... Okay. When you hold down off of this, it's actually quite good. This is good. Coin of RB Norway, which was right last time. It, this is negative 2 on block. Right? Plus 9 on hit. And this this looks like he spaced out to do the mix-up. Right? He totally is. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those ways you can force that mix-up for sure. Yep, he 
can can't get away. So you can definitely force the high risk mix up off of that. I mean, I'm trying to size the build, but I am many, but I doubt anyone would size up this. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's put that one on the back burner until I test with a regular ass character. All right. <laughs> Fucking Eddie, I'm so weird. All right. I love it when I say something. Like, I don't think this is the case, and then I prove myself wrong right after I say it. All right, that's uh, 15 frame mid, right? Yeah. 15 frame mid. If he is nugget at two, 17 frames exchange. What's that? Oh, she still recording. Oh, that's not how to do that. What's 17 frames again? 18. Shit, I had 17 frames before. I forgot it. 18. Fuck. What was 17? Uh. Eight. Oh. Down two. Good looking out. Thank you. All right. Oh, there you go. Yep. Negative two on block. So that is a very, very, very good move. Uh. Oh, this is like digging into my legs. So if you block that shit, you gotta be careful. Uh, do you have an option that will punish him if he tries to do anything? I mean, you, you probably do. If you punish him if he tries to do anything out of that. But he could get up and block. You could just get up and block, right? So if he were to just like... First of all, not only would he be able to get up and block, he'd just do this shit, and then all of a sudden he spaced out. So if he were to go for like a short range low poke, or even like a semi-decent range low poke, I feel like he'd space it out here, and he'd like hit you for doing it. More likely, you'd only eat that, so I doubt you're gonna eat a launcher for that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a fast way to make him block low. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's a fast way to make him block low. So if you got a quick low, he'd definitely eat it. And if you're like Nina, for example, you'd probably counter hit down 4 1 him. I don't know if it'll flow him though. I think it'll just hit him standing. <sighs> if you interrupt him. Definitely won't fool him if he doesn't press anything. Um, down plus three plus four from certain moves to relax. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, it's just saying that certain... Okay, it's just the way you word it is weird. So relax is next. Negativa. Obviously the neutral. Down both kicks. Down plus three plus four. No surprise there. Everybody knows this, right? Ah, this is the low option. So this is a natural, oops. One, three, natural combo creates a ton of space as you can see. So it is negative five, but like it's fucking whatever. Cause what are they gonna do to take advantage of negative five? The moment they run up to you, four, you know, you better block four, you know? The moment they run up to you, bah, you better block that. The moment they run up to you, just do whatever. So this is a fucking good move. All right, video games, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. You're in Europe, right? That's fine. Um, so th this is a really good one. And even then, you don't have to do anything. You can just like fall into relaxed or just get out of handstand. What is it? Uh, how you do the roll? Was it forward one? Yeah, you can do shit like that. So they come running in, block that if they don't duck, right? It'll probably interrupt them for running in to, do, to try to do something. And if they block it, you're plus one. You know, shit like that. Yeah, you, you gotta be creative with this character. There's probably way better options that like actual Eddie players will tell you. That's just one dumb example I came up with off the top of my head right now, right? Okay, so. Uh, that's a really good move. On block, it says. Relax one, three. But first of all, relax one by itself is negative one on hits and on counter hit. And negative 12 on block. 
definitely could be low parry. Uh, relax one three is low mid negative fourteen, but he still creates a lot of space. Oops, I back dash. So, yeah, you could punish this, but you might be able to punish this. This is cheap. You have to. And even that, he might be able to do. The, no, he, he can't do the duck out of it, actually. But he might be able to do the armor. We try to dash up. See? Yeah, some moves will reach him. Some moves will reach him, some will not. And that's that's kind of crazy when you think about it. This is like what this is a very important, in my opinion, matchup specific thing. If you can't punish this, then he can just go for that shit all day on you. And it's like 20 something damage. That's actually quite cheap. Right? 17 frame startup. He gets uh what was it, 25 damage, and he mixes you up in all sorts of weird ways. So that's a really, that's a really, really, really good move. Really, really good. Um, oh, yeah. Also, if you hold down during it, he goes right back into relax. Negative one according to the bots. According to RB Norway. Uh, yeah, negative one. RB Norway agrees. So that's pretty damn good. It also forces crouch. On hit. On hit, this forces crouch. Either on, um, whether he holds down or not. So that's just, that's a really fucking good move. That's the kind of shit where I would say, hey, if you're fighting against Eddie and he goes to relax, maybe low parry instead of block, right? Uh, he also has one four. Now this is low high and, oh, he goes into that. Is this what I think it is? It is. Oh man. So basically, this is like back four, minus the auto sidestep. Which is also like down back three, four. So that's a counter hit juggle starter out there, right? If it hits by itself, it sure is. One, four. Oh, it's not a counter hit. Okay, so it's not a counter hit string, but... You were to block the low and swing. Oh wow, no, okay, this kind of sucks. Then. I mean, it is a kind of head juggle starter, but you can just while standing for that ass. So I don't know what the purpose is for that other than maybe juggles. <laughs> it's not real. <coughs> it doesn't combo on counter hit. Excuse me. And as you can see, I can interrupt it. 13th frame beats me out. So 12th frame will exchange. So 11 frames on that ass. I would still just recommend low parry, though. Just because of that fucking relaxed one. But yeah, just like, just, just like the, you know, just like back four and down back three, four. That four, that high kick, it's a counter hit juggle star that is safe on block. It is a high, though. So you can always duck it and launch it, too. Of course, right? Even if we were to, well, oops, I did it too early. Oh my God, what am I doing? Confirm the whiff, and then launch that ass, right? And even if you get hit by the low, launching it might be harder though. You have to do instant while standing in that case. But you can totally punish it. Yeah. I, I suggest, honestly, I suggest low pairing him. Even though you might want to get greedy because of the of the slippery kicks, the four till the three. People always low parry that before though, because before it didn't have the block stagger. Before, what would happen was if you were to block it low, you would have to low parry the second kick. And if you block the second low kick, he would go into handstand and you couldn't punish him. It was fucked. It was super fucked up. 
you had to low parry him 100%. And honestly, even now, I would still recommend low parrying him for this reason. Because that, that one, that one three is cheap. It's a good move. All right. So, yeah, that shit is negative six on block, plus five on hits. Good shit. So relax, too. Okay, this is the other one. Uh, so relax, two, three. That's a counter hit launcher, I'm pretty sure. Yep, a lot of damage on that. And uh, relax, two, forward, three. That's a lot of damage. All right. So relax 2-3 is the launcher that is actually safer than the push kick for some reason. Uh, <laughs> relax 2-3 mid uh, this playlist. Hold on a second. I'll share it with you right now. This is my Yatsunori Mitsuda playlist. Uh, I actually don't know how to get a link to it. Maybe this is it. Copy. This is Chrono Cross music. Man, that's that's the full playlist. Yatsunori Mitsuda, composer of Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, Xeno Gears. This specific song is Chrono Cross. Xeno's, uh, Xeno uh, Blade Chronicles 2. No problem. All right. So this is kind of funny. Relax 2-3 is only negative 13 on block. And counter hit jungle start. Both of these need counter hit, right? See, so. Huh. Okay. Now I see why. You see right here? Negative 14, and it pushes back a ton. So, yeah, you're you're pretty much safe outside of some, maybe some extreme instances. Like, maybe a law 3 plus 4, which is 14 frames. Maybe that'll reach you. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> if it doesn't reach you, be ready to duck. Uh, yeah, not too many people going to be punishing you at all for that. Uh... So yeah, I guess if you want to keep it quote unquote safe, and it does do a lot of damage. The relax two forward three. That does do good damage. 48 damage if you do get a counter hit. So the relax two by itself. Plus five on hit and counter hit. And negative six, they both say on block, which looks good. Looks good to me. So that's another way to use this, can you? Oh, and you could delay the launcher to fuck with them. Ooh, I like that. Tricky stuff, tricky stuff all day long. It's like a virtual fighter character. You could delay all these super dangerous moves. Ugh, that's a lot of delay. Okay. Any delay on any delay on it? Yep. Anytime I input it after it connects, yeah. Yes, basically input it like as it connects. So once again, some people might say that's counter hit confirmable. I don't know if I would agree, but hey, that's how that one works. Next is relax two four. Okay, there we go. Another option. Negative twenty two. Yikes. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, negative 22. They both say, well, negative 23 it says here. But basically, they're both bad. And even on hit, it says negative 12 on hit. Yikes. Really? This used to be a bounce string, right? For juggles? Not even a counter hit string. If I'm not mistaken, this used to be a bounce string. Right? Now it would floor break. Oh, maybe not. Wall combo? You might know. I think at the wall, it does the drag up three thing. What do you mean up three? Oh, it pushes him back? That's what you're saying? Yeah, it looks like he creates good space. And at the wall, it would, like, make me do weird shit. Honestly, I don't see... I don't know what you would do with this. You could walk combo with it. That's for sure. 
And it would spike, I'm assuming. Oh, really? Oh, you mean forward three? I mean, even without... Oh, yeah, it pushes him back, is what you're saying, instead of pushing the character away. That makes sense. I mean, look at what it does here mid-stage. That makes sense. You're probably right. As far as this 2-4, I don't know... I don't know what this is good for. There's no transition. Ah, oh, of course. So what threw me off here is RB Norway. Yeah, see? Both RB Norway and the game forgot to mention, oh, that's the same as this. You're basically doing this, back 1-4. So it's the follow-up. So it's kind of like whatever. It's not as good as it used to be. Is what I'm saying. Treat it, you know. You, I guess you kind of treat it the same as you treat back one four with the follow-ups. Back one four three three plus four. Back one four three plus four. You know all that shit. So I'm guessing he could do it here too, right? Of course, right? Yeah. So same business there. If you want like a risky mix-up. I wouldn't recommend it, personally. Uh, maybe that used to counter a combo. I don't know. Anyway, next is Relaxed 3. It's just a low poke. Just a low poke. But this low poke is negative 15. So that's not very good. A lot of characters, most of the cast will launch you for this. But it is plus 1 on hit. On block, though, it's negative 15. But he does have that. Now, I don't know if this messes with the punish as much. It might stop you from being launched, full launched. So that's uh, relax three, neutral four. It says neutral four, but you could just match four while letting the stick go to neutral. You don't have to like time it or anything. See, you get floated. 15 frames will still float you. So depending on the character, I don't know, see, uh, Eddie can convert it. Some ca it. It'll fuck with some character's punishes on the low. That's for sure. Alright, if it hits you, you definitely cannot interrupt. And it doesn't combo on counter hit, that's for sure. Three neutral four, negative six on block, knocks down on hit. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to that. How much damage is it? 28 damage, not bad on that mid kick. It's kind of whatever. Uh, and then of course we got relax three to the four, the high risk mid. Just know that if you block punish that, you're gonna float him. one of those that you got to punish for the float. Oops. You know what I'm saying? Negative 24 on block. So this is the mid homing move. Spins on hit, which means it wall splats. Plus 14. If you want, if you want a decent follow up, you can instantly do a 4-4-3. Four, four, that will uh, 16. That will not frame trap, but there's only a 12 frame gap. Of course, that means they'll be able to sidestep it for sure. Still, it'll uh, a lot of mashing. That'll fuck up a lot of mashing right there. Oh, what do you know? So if you mash three plus four after relax four, he goes into that forward flip. Uh, relax four, three plus four. Sorry. Wow, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, 
Huh. There's hidden moves here. Block punish? It probably does, right? Oh man, if you hold back, that's what happens. That's a juggle starter, that mid kick. I know that. Oh, I maybe mean not. <laughs> it looked like it was. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, yeah, too far. Negative 13. So I go for my 13. I still got that. Still got that. Of course, that will actually float him and launch him, right? So it seems like that's not really low profiling mids. So if you have a mid uh, 13 frame Punisher, you're good to let it rip. No matter what he does out of the relaxed form. Definitely gonna let it rip. Just know that if you go for jabs, that's when things start to get weird. You're gonna want to go for a one-two jab because it seems like that's that's gonna be what floats him. But let's make sure. Okay, that still floats him. Oh, you exchange. Yeah. Go for your 13 frame mid. Unless you want to cross jab. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world, but you won't be able to convert that. But definitely go for your 13 frame mid. <sighs> All right. Relax, four to the three. I already talked about this. I already showed how to punish it. That's the low, the big low. What's up, lad? No Neil, how's it going? If the second hit of this hits you by itself, sorry, he's actually in pretty good shape. I don't know how you could do that because it says it's only negative two. Uh, yeah, negative four to negative two says here. The first hit, if only the first hit hits you. If you have a lot of rage, I think you can float him for sure. A lot of rage that will hit relaxed. But, I don't know. It's a little weird. Yeah, this song is quite depressing, especially the boss fight that accompanies it. One of the best boss fights, too, because the dude is like, all right, I'm going to raise my magic attack, I'm going to lower your magic defense, and then I'm going to turn you into the element that this attack is weak towards, and then I'm going to one-shot you. Like, a <laughs> holy dragon sword. That's just so cheap. Classic. I was streaming Chrono Cross like two years ago, and that's actually where I got out to. After that is where I, when I stopped, because I was streaming super inconsistently like a fool. All right. So anyway. Uh, next, relax one plus two. Ah, that's that string, the one plus two string, super hit confirmable. No matter how much you delay this, it combos, no matter how much. That's one plus two, one plus two. And you're gonna wanna confirm that because it's negative 14. First hit by seven is negative 13. Second hit, negative 14. So I kinda went over this move. There's a way to go into that move in some of his strings. But you can just go right out of relax. Uh, and that's a 18 frame min. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. So that's a pretty good move. First hit by itself, it says plus two on hit, uh, plus four on counter hit. Just so. 
Plus five, he says. Yeah. Plus three. Oh, well, whatever one you want to believe. But uh, you're going to want to do both for the knockdown anyway. So I wouldn't even back on what the frame rate is on the first one, to be honest with you guys. Next for XP plus four. Ooh, check this out. Uh -huh. Relax, three plus four, hold back to go into handstand. Relax, uh, three plus four, th oh, sorry. Relax, three plus four, ugh. Let me just buffer it. Relax, three plus four, three, to do that kick, just like the four, just like with the uh, relax mid into that kick. Same cancels. Three plus four, three, L or three plus four, I'm doing four till the three. Keepers four forward. Back? Keepers four back, sorry. There it is. That's also Keepers four from standing, I just realized that. And that's the one that he could actually convert. I was right. It is a juggle starter in this in the uh, neutral situation. So I was remembering that correctly. Just I guess in the relaxed situation, off of the relaxed floor. If, if you match, that's what happens. But in that situation, it just connects too far away. <laughs> Chrono Cross, best over seal all time. Yeah, it was a while ago. It definitely was a while ago. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. I still don't know what I would say is my number one, but what's got to be up there is the King of Fighters 96 arranged soundtrack. Definitely goes up there, in my opinion. All right, so that's that move. Same shit. Same shit as, the, as off of this. Same shit. Oops. God, I can't. These two buttons together inputs are really fucking me up right now. Oh my god, do it, Eddie. His inputs are so weird. Do I have to mash it? So... Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Same thing as that. You go right into it. And, okay, yeah, so it seems like no matter what variation you use to relax, it doesn't become a juggle starter. It's only a juggle starter during neutral. Flow with back 3 3. Now, there might be some... Oof. Wow. I'm going to guess that's an access issue because it's double Eddie. Yeah, see? It's definitely an access issue. Fucking Eddie, he's so weird. All right, so... Relax forward, 3 plus 4, according to RB Norway. Same frame data as the handstand one. Exact same move. Negative 12 to negative 2. We put him on stand guard. Let's make a blocker from distance. It's negative 3. Up close, negative 12. At best, you can make a negative two, it says. I got negative three again there. Negative two, there you go. Oh, I'm not even changing the move up here. Yeah, so that's the, that's this, all right. That's this, okay. Next we got, that's that. Next. Huh, okay, that's just one way to go into that. Ah, that counts as the handstand duck. So you could do the three plus four during it to do the handstand launcher. The duck launcher. He goes to the handstand duck automatically because you can mash three plus four during it if you want. Alright, uh, relax down by 3J. I don't, what is this? There's an input here that says down, relax, down, back, 3J. I don't know what that is. I think it's that. I think it's what I just did. I think it's the wake, it's like the wake up low. It's negative 12 on block. I don't counter hit. Yeah. It's basically kind of like the wake up low. only do it during the transition to relax when you're already in relax down back three doesn't do anything see but right when you put relax you can just go right into it that's actually a pretty good option because it's a counter hit low it's plus five on hit and uh counter hit launching low yeah that's actually really good it recovers crouching though so whilst the, oh not that what would he what would he Flow with, uh, 
I don't know what he would flow with for a juggle. Oh, standing two, maybe? Oh, we recovered too slow. Uh, while standing three. <sighs> there it is, while standing three. Uh, it's, it's a whatever the fuck the ender is. Uh, oops, while standing three, back three, three, uh, relaxed four. Ugh, my brain, my brain is not working. Back three, three, relax four, run up, down two, three, relax three. Nope. That's supposed to be guaranteed certain situations. Maybe if I had ran in deep, ran in, run in deeper there, uh, ran in, ran in, ran in deeper there. <laughs> I can't speak English. Um, it would have connected, but whatever the hell the, the juggles are, that's just one way to convert off of it, I guess. Maybe just run up and back two, four for more damage or whatever. Mega Man series OSTs are definitely on point. I don't think this is a really good low. That's another way to like fuck with people who look for relax and try to re re react to it, but they're just a little bit too slow. And if it just hits them on regular hit, that's still really quite good. And on block, it's not super bad. It's negative 12. Yeah, negative 12. Check that out. That's really good. That's a great one. And that's it for relax. That is it. And look at that. That's a hidden move. That's not on these uh, move lists here. Pretty fucked up, right? You would never have known. Actually, no, this is it right here. <laughs> no, okay, it's not. It's not on his move list. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's totally not on his move list. Go we'll figure out. Okay, yeah, so the 4-2 to deal, uh, we saw this earlier, goes into his 10 hit. Uh, mid, jump in, mid, high, mid, high, mid, mid, mid. There's no hot, there's no lows in here. There's no lows in here. So, duck, duck, mid, mid, duck. Uh, you probably won't be able to duck that sideways flip shit. So you got two duck points. After he jumps back in with that mid kick, two highs to duck. So duck the highs and launch him. Like that's mid, high, high. There you go. And then he goes mid, 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 mid. All right. This is not a 10 hit combo, you liars. It's like that Dragon Ball shit. It's like a seven hit combo. Mid, high, high. He still goes double high and then he goes to a low. There's no mix up here. This shit sucks. Negative 22. Whack. If that low were like plus on block or something. Or like zero or some shit. Then maybe it'd be good. That's just trash. Alright. Real deal. Funny name. No Oki on that one. You're all the way back there. Uh, and you don't switch sides. You do. It looks like you do. All right. I should. This, this looks weird. Let me go to a wall stage. You may not switch sides, but it looks like you adjust your positioning. You might get sidewall in this situation. Oh! You do pretty much get away from the wall if they break this. This is a good, uh, good, good throw to go for. It's one plus three throw if you're back into the wall. If you successfully grab them, you're just gonna get damaged, right? And you're pretty much gonna be like further away from the wall. Right? Yeah, see? You don't switch sides, but you're like, you go way away from the wall. And if he breaks it, you get away from the wall. So that's the throw to go for when your back is to the wall, for sure. One plus three. 
Two plus four. Oh, this one might have Oki. Alright. So you stay on the same side on the successful throw. Same side. Uh, throw escape, though. Same thing. Wow. That's really good. Wow. Both of his throws, his generic throws, if you break them, you switch sides. That's cheap. That's cheap. Look at that. And you're like all the way over there, so it's like not like they could capitalize off of the break. Uh, they could start moving, and you're going to have to run in after them. But still. It's a good way to get away from the wall. Right side. Don't turn, Eddie. I don't know about the Oki there. That is weird. Ugh. Yeah, nah. And about that. Shadow Dancer. The fuck, Tiger Mask? Alright. Alright. Tiger Mass Eddie, huh? He might have something there, but it's a side throw, so it's like, what the fuck ever, right? Uh, stop turning! This is just like his rodeo throw. Yeah, kind of like his rodeo throw. And then, of course... Oh. Is that shit? So that's a side switch for sure. And then, whee! You might get special wall stuff. We'll test that right now. Generic throw break. Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Rodeo. Rodeo switch. Uh, it doesn't switch sides. Like, uh, it's not a, like a 180 side switch, but it is like a side thing. Like, let's just get up to the wall. You get this situation. Uh, I don't remember him having any of those special, like, oh, those knockdowns that knock people down sideways that will give you free stuff at the wall. Like a dragon of up 4 4. His up 4 4 knocks you back. So I don't think he has anything. I don't remember him having anything for this situation. <sighs> Alright. And then a rodeo throw successfully. Switch the sides. So all of his throws, except for down four plus one plus two, are good options when his back is to the wall. To like get away from it, you know, or be, put yourself in a less bad situation. It's pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, and now we're gonna switch sides. I don't know if he gets anything yet. He recovers pretty slow. I don't think he has anything guaranteed. Uh, you final boss, you mean? You're half right. <laughs> if, okay, okay, there it is. If he spaced out, if he's like against the wall at all, that's not gonna be guaranteed. But if he's spaced out, then he's guaranteed that low option. Which means, because of that positioning, it makes me think, like, see right here, maybe. Right? 
If I hold down back, boop, it hits me. It hits me with my back turn. And those are the most fucked up Oki situations in the game. So he probably has some nasty shit if he's just a little bit spaced out with his back to the wall and he connects that ground. He might have some fucked up shit. There you go. But that's only that's only if you get up. You gotta hold him back. Oh, yeah. If I hold back, that's what happens. But if I stand up, if I tap up, it's gonna hit me in the back. Watch. See? Because uh, tapping up makes you stand up quicker, just like it makes you stand up quicker to block. The problem is when you face uh, up head towards. You stand up with your back facing him for like a couple of frames. So, but holding down back makes you get up slower, but it puts you in that weird state where you will get hit as if you were grounded, which means you could tech. Oh, that was a down back. There he goes. That's back. Not down back, back. Down back is going to make you wake up with your back, you know, wake up crouching. And then when he hits you, you can tech. That's it. Ugh. Mash, mash, mash. Oh, don't jump. It's a line there, so. So, if I hold back, I escape that. I escape that, but if I get up in any other way, other than holding back, that's gonna hit me in the back. Which means you could commit to the full string on his back. Weird shit like that. You can totally get. Kid still looking at me? What kid's looking at Oh, Kid. I forgot her name was Kid. Her name is Kid with two Ds, though, isn't it? So if you got something fast with a beefy hitbox, like his back two, pretty good there. That back one shit is pretty fucked up, but most people are going to hold back when trying to get up. So you're going to want to make him hurt when they hold back. Uh, so down four three is probably going to be the best thing. Probably, right? See? That's why. I don't think he'll be able to block that. If I hold back... Oh! If I hold back, he will be able to block that. If I tap up, though... If I tap up... Okay, I get hit that way. Alright. I don't know. I can't think of any other fancy shit to try there. Nothing fast, at least. Like, it would be down back three, uh, down back two, three, right? Was it down back two, three? Yeah, down back two, three. But we already know that the down force is is way faster. And I still face him when I hold back. So I'm going to block the fucking launch punishable uh, launcher. All right. At least you get the down four guaranteed by itself. Oh boy. So 
that's the one that looks like it has good okay. Let's go through this whole business again. Yeah, ooh, bad recovery on this one. You gotta guess between the wake up kicks if you were to press a button. There it is. Both instances you could backdash and down forward three plus four to punish, or you could do that uh, that old geese trick <laughs> off of the ground throw. Similar okay. Just tap down forward, and then if that that's gonna whiff over you, and if he does the low, you're gonna low parry. That's pretty much all you got to deal with wake up kicks, which means the okay isn't great. What is that one on block? Oh, okay. Positioning wise, don't low parry. <laughs> Positioning wise, you're more rewarded for just tapping down back. If he whiffs the mid wake up kick while standing launcher, you know, while standing one three or whatever, and then if he does the low block punish it with uh, while standing two, not while standing one, because he's gonna wake up crouching. Right? See, over his head. So while standing two, the block punish below in that situation. And there you have it. I'm gonna have to do the side slip shit separately, I think. Um, especially since everybody's watching Aris right now. Uh, do you have any more throws? Oh, he has crouch grabs. Which are kind of useless. I like the way Virtual Fighter works in crouch jazz, to be honest with you guys. Because there's a use for him as a counter, a specific kind of counter. Wow, it just whiffs. Well, you got good Oki after it. Still good, okay, because standing still makes the wake up kick, uh, makes the wake up uh, low loose. Four will hit him for doing wake any either wake up kick after that crotch grab, which means he just makes that up with whatever mid, just understanding that your mid is either gonna have to whiff him if he stays down, or uh, like back two is gonna interrupt both wake up kicks also. But if you want to go for a grounded hitting mid, you have to risk you know him staying down just like the big one. So that that OK is actually pretty good, but how often are you gonna get a crouching grab? You know, not very often. That one has no Oki for sure. He knocks you all the way over there and he can tech. You're not gonna get shit off of that. Oh my god. Yeah. 
No, no real big Noki there. They could get up and backdash him, probably. Maybe you're at the wall. Maybe. Guaranteed. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, I wasn't at the wall, so that's what matters. Make him dash up and do it. Ugh, wow. Weird ass inputs. You have to be super deliberate when playing this character. they have to block that. Right? Like, if they get up. That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they can't sidestep that. And if they try, that's what happens, and he can convert that into a juggle. So, that's not bad. That's not super bad. That makes it so you can make a guarantee that the moment they get up, they're not going to try to move. So, if you swing with something else that has long range, a low of some sort, I don't know what low he would do. Oh. oh my god, the timing is so strict. Alright, that probably isn't gonna reach, but it's easier to mash out. Yeah, it's a, it's a lift. Yeah, that's my that's the issue. There's too much space created and he doesn't have a long range low. Now back two maybe? Ain't bad for a grounded hitting on a low poke. Yeah, no, that's great. I could block it, of course, but. Oh, no. And it is launch punishable. So keep that in mind. You can't wake up with the low parry. That's what happens. <laughs> you get hit up the ass. And then he could do down back 2-3 to launch your ass. Let's see what happens if you block down back 2-3 in that situation. Yeah, you'll still get launched. 
That's a risky mix-up, but you got something there, I guess. They definitely can't low parry the low, at least. That's for sure. Uh... All right, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna make a, a separate video for the sidestepping one. That seems to be the best way to go about it because that's what I did for Gigas. I'm also kind of losing steam over here. But yeah, that's pretty much Eddie's move list. Uh, I might have missed some stuff, like always, because obviously I don't main the character. Uh, but I hope you guys learned something. I know I learned a whole lot about this character that I'm totally gonna fucking forget the next time I fight an Eddie. But you know, he's definitely a cool character. He's definitely, like, he's always been a cool character. He's always been an annoying one to fight. But I hope now, you know, as you guys watch through this stuff and look through his move list with me, you guys know, it. like, you know, you guys know better how to punish his stuff now. You, you, you guys know better why he is the way he is, right? You guys know why people always say, oh, at the higher level you get, the harder it is to win with Eddie because this, all these options become much higher risk. Much higher risk. Because when there's no risk to go with the reward, then it's like a fucking OP character. So Eddie's OP versus bad players. That's pretty much what bad players and uninformed players. Eddie's super OP. If you don't know the matchup, you're going to get fucked. You, you could still win, but, you know, you're, you're at a severe disadvantage. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to scream some Yakuza later, but I'll be back in, like, tomorrow's Friday, right? Let's say Saturday night. Saturday night, I'm gonna do the, the side stepping. Uh, can't even talk. Side stepping. I'm gonna test Eddie's tracking using Lily or Kazumi. One or the other. I think they both have good side steps. I'll go with Lily. Whatever. Uh, until then, I know you guys probably everybody already left to watch Iris, so <laughs> it's a good time to stop anyway. So I hope y'all take it easy. Uh, if I see you later, I'll see you later when I stream Yakuza. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.